Alright, so, hello and welcome back to another episode of Brave New World Blindfolded. I... It's been a long time since I've done the last episode of this. It won't be... anything like... any longer to you, because uh, you'll be getting the episodes right in a row, but I spent quite a while in the LLG... I... getting to the belt and doing stuff there. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. I went way too high there. Yeah, let's just leave. If I can do that. Let's try this again. So fortunately, this chocobo riding's a little bit easier than it was before. One tap to the left, and that should be good. <laughs> That's pretty much all I have to do. I can just ride all the way to the bottom here now. It's all conveniently lined up for me. I don't know how long I have to get in here for, so... Let's hope that's it. Otherwise I'll restart. I already messed up anyway. There we go. Opera House. Hello, Mr. Guy. Alright, so, uh... Yeah, this part's kind of interesting. I I'm splitting up into two segments. I'm gonna deliberately fail after I do the singing portion so I can save and don't not have to do that again. So that's handy. But for now, I've just got an absurdly long cutscene. Another one of those cutscenes that's great, if you can see it. Of course, I can at least hear Celeste running into the door, which is... funny. And completely out of context. There it goes. Less acquired skill. Turn door knob. So yeah, there's no battling or anything in this segment, so I just figure I'll do stuff with my equipment setup, my Esper's next segment. Because there's no reason not to, really. And now, we get to have a lengthy musical segment. So, who wants to hear me sing the entire opera? Hint. Spoiler alert. Nobody does. <laughs> So, uh, considering I can't see what's actually going on on screen, I can just make up whatever I want. So I suppose this is about Draco, our hero. He he's unfortunately got a mental illness which causes him to sing randomly in the middle of nowhere. He also deludes himself into thinking he is a great knight who actually has a girlfriend. But... Unfortunately, he's actually just a loser who lives in his mom's basement. This is a chronicle of uh, his battles with his illnesses. 
and lack of understanding of reality. And now, appearing on stage, Draco. Fun fact, Draco is descended from Don Quixote. If that's how I pronounce it. I'm not really sure. <laughs> All right, so now things are happening with my non delusional party. It quieted down, so I know I made it out of there just fine. I messed that up the first time. I also messed up, I took a step right before I went down that staircase right there, so that almost messed me up, but I got lucky. And by the first time, I mean my first attempt at the LLG, not my first attempt at this, because this is my first attempt at this. Not that they're any different, really, they're pretty much exactly the same. Alright, so I lack my menu here, so there's no menu trick. I just have to jam the button until I hope the cutscene ends. That's unfortunate, but whatever. But yeah, I, as I said in the LLG, using the, a cheat code to open the menu during the opera at times you're not supposed to has some strange effects. Also, walking through walls has strange effects, but I'm sure you didn't tell me to need me to tell you to. Uh, ugh. I'm sure you could have worked that one out without me telling you. There, that's how you talk. That's how you use words. Is it over yet? It's over. Okay, the singing portion of this is really, really easy. There's actually only, I, all I have to do is tap down once when she says dream. I mean, I can't really hear, obviously, <laughs> when she says the word. I just know the song mostly. Draco, why are you nuts? I am a figment of your imagination, and I am telling you very solemnly that you need to get a life. darkness inside your mind because I don't exist. I won't age a day because, you know, figments of your imagination don't age. Must I forget you? I wish I could. I'm lost without you, because, you know, the obvious. Okay, gotta concentrate here.
did I make it? Moment of truth, crossing my fingers? Good. No random speeding up the music and things exploding in my face and barnyard animals being thrown off the walls of the castle. I'm acting kind of goofy this episode, but I suppose that's just because there's so many things to make fun of. I couldn't really make fun of that part because I don't know it at all, but... <laughs> And unlike you, I can't see the words on the screen to parody as unless they come along. So, uh, I invite you to make your own parody for that segment. So as I learned my LLG, the music will fade out right about now. Oh wait, never mind, the dancing thing is longer than that. Um, but once it fades out, that's when I can get ready to go. Hello, Locke. Dumped straight back where I was before, and out the door. Oh yeah, and I've got the dash command too. Don't want to forget the dash command. Oh yeah, there was the whole I was gonna develop a better route to that letter thing, oh well too late now. Doesn't matter, I already kinda know this one. There we go, that's the door. I can just run all the way to the bottom here. left. Why is it up to the left? I don't really know. It's clearly not up in any way, shape, or form. It's kind of down even. It's a disaster! Dang it, I should have known Octopi were gonna start crashing the party. Dramatic reveal! Draco doesn't have a mental illness. He's actually doing drugs. Other dramatic reveal. There's an octopus in the rafters. About to set a not very convoluted line of motion. How did he get that weight up there anyway? Like, it takes him five minutes just to push it off of that narrow rafter. Wouldn't it have started by now? Ah, there we go. Alright, I can do this. I can make it all the way.
still make it. I've still got time. Yeah, as you probably guessed, I'm not really doing this for this segment now. I'm just messing around for five minutes until... Yeah, unlike the, uh, LLG, it appears I've messed this up royally. I don't think I'll be able to... Switch. Goodbye, world. Ironically, while I am able to figure this all out, just because, uh, like, I remember the route better than I remember most things because you have to do this quickly. Of course, I'm taking a different route here than I did in my LLG, which this is a good chance I'm messing myself up here. I'm just kind of guessing at what routes might help me out. Two, three. Yeah, I managed to guess that one too. At this rate, I'll be able to go do segments without even doing test runs. No, that would be a very, very horrible choice. And anywhere other than the Opera House, it would fail miserably. Yeah, when I'm not putting safety on it, I can move a lot faster. Alright then. So, uh, kill yourself, people. And this is probably Gao, so I don't want to do anything with him. Let's switch his rogue, he's probably in the back. Well, at least I'm attacking myself intentionally this time. <laughs> Step up. Given that I heard a parry, the top character's probably locked. I'll stop attacking him. Let's see if the bottom character's go. I'm not really sure why I chose the bottom character, but... I'm not sure how much damage those rats do. It's more than vanilla, that's for sure, and they were doing about 40 in vanilla. Watch, they're probably doing 30, and I'm calling the shots here and getting it completely wrong. Hopefully those things are making mince meat of my team. My team of Lock, Gao, and Edgar. Yeah, that's the last person. Time's probably gonna run out any second now. I don't think I'm actually going to kill myself. I'm not hearing any more Gao, at least. I searched for Whoopsie in the event dump once. 
I was kind of annoyed after searching for a while with different combinations of O's to find out that it was Whoopi instead. So then, uh, that's the end. See you next time.